We have the feeling we're being watched and this is why. It's the interrupting cow. Who else is there? It's not Rosie, it's Roxy. Roxy. Roxy, yeah. And that's Rocky. That's Roxy. Jason's been working on cutting out the bunk supports for the two boys' bunks before we got interrupted by the cows. Number two for the day. Once we had the flashings removed in these corners, there was a whole heap of silicon I needed to remove. Jason's just getting the last of the silicon off this corner and now I'm moving on to the next corner. Remove the corner flashing and the silicon seal that's holding it in. Jason's cut a new support piece and it's just filing the edge to make it smooth so we can put this into the corner. Finally! It's taken a bit of fine tuning to get this piece to fit properly. Rock and roll baby. Jason's drilling out the hole for the first rivet to support this piece. You've got glasses on your head. You're measuring. Measuring this height. Yeah. Yeah. What so. for? Uh, four bumps, three and four. We already had this piece of aluminium channel cut. We hadn't put it in place because we have to remove the vents before we can put it in. No idea where this is meant to go. Once in position, we realised this piece of channel needed a slight trim to make it fit properly. Now it's ready for drilling the bottom hole. We also realise that the rivet gun won't fit. We have to remove the rivet holding the top piece so we can fit this in. We decided to move on to installing the bunk sections for the two boys. This piece just needed some minor trimming before it would fit in place. Now it's ready to be riveted into position. It was fine so we decided it was time to remove these vents outside the truck. So Jason's just drilling out the rivets and then he punches them through to loosen off the vent cover. Now that the outer cover is off, Jason can drill off the inner vent. Hello. Hello. The only thing holding this vent in now is some silicon sealant, so we're just using a craft knife to remove that. And a few persistent rivets, which Jason's knocking out with the hole punch. Oh, honey, it came out. Hello. I started scraping off the sealant while Jason started drilling off the rivets of the second one. Just repeating the whole process over again for the second one now. I didn't cut the top. I noticed. <laughs> got a little plastic scraper. Hello! <laughs> Okay, both fences are removed and we've got two holes in our truck. We didn't like the positioning of these wires, so we decided to move them because they would show through the ceiling and the wall panels when they were put into position. Yeah. Jason's just using a grinding tool on the drill to make the holes a little bit shallower so the wires will fit tighter to the wall and ceiling. Jason's just deburring this hole before we reinstall the wire. Next thing we had to do was remove um, a section of this piece of 50mm aluminium which we'd made too long. We decided the best way to do this was to drill tiny little holes in a straight line. We'd already removed the rivets and so it's just a matter of prying it off. Now we can tidy it up with a little bit of filing and replace the insulation. Now it's time to finally install this angle in the corner. First step is the silicon sealant. Now Jason's installing it with a rivet. We have to use our old rivet gun here because our riv nut tool will not fit in this tight space. Jason's preparing the holes for the next two rivets. Mm -hmm. 
on its last legs. We need to spray foam this corner. So we decided to put in this wood panel, which will have multi-function. It will hold the wall panel for the end of the bunk and it will hold the spray foam and support this aluminium structure that we're just putting in. Which part do you want me to do? Um, stand by with rivets and the two rivet guns. Look at that. Look at that for a professional job. I hope you got it up the right way. I don't know. Did you have a particular one? Yeah. I don't even know where you live. About to find out. Um, that one. Another robot. We're just reinstalling the foam and cutting new pieces to fit over where the vents were. Because the vents are out and the foam's in, now we can attach this final piece of channel. My god, actually lined up. I'll pop a little was one row of teeth left on it. Subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode where we install the wall panels on this section of wall.